Interesting. I wasn't expecting guests. Raiders are just... Better not be cursed. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Yes. Halsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. The absolute sames are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Because I am just like you, and I need an ally. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot. And I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. No, it isn't safe. The power I use to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. <sighs> There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. 
I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate... Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this... I hope my time will yet come. to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Sorry to bother you, mistress. Got a message from the guards. Yes? We got visitors. Don't know who they are. Mercenaries, maybe? Interesting. I wasn't expecting guests. Spike always makes him talk. If he doesn't, I'll cut out his tongue. If he don't have a tongue, he can't tell us nothing. The prisoner can keep his tongue. It's spikes I'll be removing. Prisoner, I'll talk. Yep. If he doesn't, I'll cut out his tongue. If he don't have a tongue, he can't tell us nothing. The prisoner yeah. can keep his tongue. You sought a fight, and now you have one.
I will ascend. Make way! Yeah. 
Someday I'll catch a break. an illithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. What am I to do? Looking ahead. Can't slow down.
still breathing, despite everything. next. No time to rest. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an over... You try to examine the... feel better the second the book is out of your hands. What are you doing? That's the way to treat a book. The voices return, louder, stronger, commanding you to stop. But they have no hold on you. All you have to do is strike. from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into a lithid madness it could drag us. One truth that fell out of its cankered lips. There will come a battle, but it will be one with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. My faith will guide me. No mercy. Ha!
can't afford to stay idle. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. No one back home will ever believe this. Eager for battle. Hmm. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Ah, my good fellow. My Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. 
I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then, tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run! I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Threat. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was... Very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta! Seems simple enough. Always a pleasure. Ever since we shared each other's flesh, I've caught you looking at me with lidded eyes. And either like a coward or a fool, you tremble. Perhaps the parasite has weakened you. Or perhaps... Perhaps you still long for my taste. I never promised more than a night. Though I can't deny the lure of your taste. Sweet, yes, but also bitter as ginger. Tempt me. Like the shield bearer and pikemen must train to march their formation in tandem. Very well. I will claim you once you have taken to rest. Enough! I have given you my word. Do not be late.
Hazel appears at your bunk, her eyes raging with desire. You suspect you won't be getting much sleep tonight. There's something I've been wanting to share with you, if now's a good time. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole, the connection. Come into my mind. I'm sure. I trust you. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. You remember that it is common amongst Saluna's followers to send their children into the woods alone, a rite of passage to find their way home. Perhaps this one has gone awry. <laughs> You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble, that's all. Just because Salunites claim something doesn't mean they own it. Normally I'd agree. But with you... It's getting easier by the moment. now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Get down there and stop complaining! 
Weinen! goblin turns to you and the parasite squirms in your skull you taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul the visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again you see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before the elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it the Hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ok, al Koldek, Shulkok Hank! Hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's voice, you ask. Who is the Absolute? Raxlin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Perhaps 
absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Raxland's suspicions. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control. Barely. Who killed you? Again, a vision comes to you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand open a hogging pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. You're kidding me. Very helpful, Squid. Suspicion floods Ragsland's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. What did the killer want? Visions consume you once more. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high. Control panels melting. Flesh pods spilled open. Given the... Wait! Ragslin pierces your mind, prodding for truth. You, your no true soul. Squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> that damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Praise the Absolute. No prizes for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. The artifact. My face protects me. The Absolute's name, boys! Rick, Rick. 